I recently had a conversation with an auto executive from a certain company who I won't mention, and we were talking about Geely. Geely have just released this vehicle with a thousand kilometers of range. Does it have really a thousand kilometers of range? The answer is just a straight up no. Does it have maybe 900, 800? Yes. It's amazing, in fact. Now, Geely are a very confusing company. They have so many different brands, it's hard to know what's really going on. This brand is called Zika, and it's called the Zika 001. It has a new battery pack from CATL, the world's biggest battery manufacturer, which enables the car to do nearly 1,000 kilometers. Well, officially, it's 1,032 kilometers on the CLTC cycle, which is unbelievable. Are they really getting this kind of range from this car? How are they doing it? Well, let's have a look. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers, nearly 9,000 over the last, I don't know, three or four weeks. Great to have every single one of you. Patreon supporters, thank you so much for your support. It's amazing. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. YouTube members, same for you as well. Now, if you'd like to be a patron or a YouTube member, I'll put some links in the description. Zika has actually begun delivering this car. So there's been a lot of talk about this car, the Zika 001, having a thousand kilometers of range with CATL's new structural battery pack. But it was talk until now when they actually began delivering. In fact, they delivered the first one around about one week ago. The 001, it's a fantastic car. I love the 001. It's basically an electric station wagon. It's very wide though. It looks epic, looks very cool, luxurious, but it's incredibly affordable. All these things that just don't add up, but they do in this car. It's why I love it. Zika is technically called the premium electric vehicle brand of the Geely company. So are they cars premium? I think they are actually. Are they priced at a premium price? Not really. I mean, the base model version of this car is around 40,000 US dollars. For a car this big, it's five meters long, more than two meters wide. It's wider than a Model Y. It's about the size. In fact, it's nearly as big as a Model X. And it's 40,000 US dollars for a so-called luxury car. Is it really luxurious? Well, I think it is. Deliveries of the so-called WE version of the Zika 001 with the 140 kilowatt hour Kirin battery began a few days ago. And the 1,032 kilometer range makes this the longest range production EV in the world for sale today, right now officially that you can actually get right now if you order one you can actually you know receive it and not have this mythical idea of i have a thousand kilometers of range and we'll, we'll deliver it to you and it just never happens that's happened for quite a few different chinese automakers this isn't one of them this thing is legit i think that there'll be probably a hundred different models of car minimum by 2030 that'll have this kind of range probably actually more range than this this is just the start of an avalanche because CATL is the world's biggest battery company. And CATL are not saying, hey, only Geely are allowed to use this battery. In fact, everyone can buy it. Anyone who wants to, if Volkswagen want this battery, they can get it. If Ford want it, they can get it. If General Motors want it, they can get it. Anyone get Mercedes, if they want it, they can get it. The question is though, can you actually integrate it into your vehicle chassis? Have you built your car in a way that you, this enables you to quickly change what batteries you use? Well, that's one of the things that Tesla's good at doing. Tesla very quickly moved away from nickel manganese cobalt based ternary batteries in its cheapest models to lithium iron phosphate batteries in its cheapest models far quicker than anyone else in the legacy automotive industry. Now a lot of them are copying them, Volkswagen and Ford are now starting to copy Tesla's act there, but Tesla have been doing, selling those cars for years. So I think there's a chance Tesla could be using these battery packs in its new versions of its ternary powered or its more expensive, not the base model, the mid range, the long range and the performance versions of the Model 3 and the Model Y in the future. CATL, of course, is Tesla's biggest battery partner. Yes, I know they have Panasonic, but actually CATL provides more of Tesla's batteries than Panasonic does. So what is the actual energy density of this pack? I mean, obviously it's big. It's a really big battery pack, but there's heaps of cars with big battery packs that don't have this range. It's getting this range because the battery pack has an energy density of 255 watts per kilo. And it uses a cell to pack technology. It's called 3.0. Basically, it's a structural battery pack. As soon as Tesla announced they had a structural battery pack, companies like CATL, BYD, and other companies said, oh, hang on a minute, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. And quickly, very quickly, they started designing the battery packs and the vehicles capable of having structural battery packs. Why is it that the rest of the automotive industry has pretty much ignored this? You tell me. Hubris, arrogance, laziness, 
I don't know, but there's clearly a compelling reason for why they've chosen to just watch this happen. Hmm, a bit concerning if you ask me. So let's have a look at the details of this car and then you can decide whether or not you want to buy one. Buy one? What do you mean? It's only China. No, it's not actually. Zika will actually become a global car brand. I don't know when you're going to have access to one, but at some point, many countries around the world, will. this car will be available in. I think the UK will be one of the first countries, Europe as well. The Zika 001, five door, five seat. I think, what would you call this? Uh, uh, a wagon? I think it's a wagon. Let's just call it a wagon. It's 4,970 millimeters long, 1,999 millimeters wide. Let's just call that five meters long, two meters wide. 1,560 millimeters high, and it's got a wheelbase of 3,005 millimeters, three meters. Power, while the highest power version, the dual motor version has 400 kilowatts, so not far off 600 horsepower and 686 newton meters of torque. That enables it to do zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds, nearly as fast as a Tesla Model Y. The cheapest version, the one I was talking about before for 40,000 US dollars has an 86 kilowatt hour battery pack. However, you can pay a bit more than you get a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that will give you a range of 656 kilometers, but that's the CLTC cycle. You're probably looking at a real world range of around 440 to 450 kilometers. However, like I said, step up to the structural Kieran battery pack from CATL, and you get a 140 kilowatt hour pack that gives the car really probably a real world range of about 900 kilometers, which is insane. What's even more insane is the price, right? The price for the dual motor is 57,800 US dollars. This is a big car. It's got a very high level of standard specification and you're getting you know, 900 kilometers of range in a big car for 57,800 US dollars. I think this is an absolute bargain. Do you guys agree with me? Let me know if you agree with that statement in the comments. The CATL CTP 3.0 battery features a volume utilization rate exceeding 72%. So that's pack volume utilization. That means 72% of the battery pack has actual batteries inside it. And that's actually a very, very high volume utilization. Average in the industry is closer to 50%. CATL say that compared to the 4680 battery cell pack, the battery pack has 13% higher power under the same chemical system and battery pack size. Now, no one's a bit up to confirm if that's true or not. That's just what CATL have publicly said. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll find out at some point in the future if that actually holds up and if that's true. I'm really excited to see more cars like this. And that's really the reason I made this video because this car is just an example. It's an example of the many, many options that will be here within the next four, five, six years that are similar to this that will give you choices. Choices if you want a car with less range and you want to pay less. Choices if you want to pay more and get a car with a thousand kilometers or more of range. 600 miles or more, it will be common. It will be ubiquitous. And I'm saying it now because I think that the more we say it, the more true it becomes. Now I'm kidding. I'm saying it because it's inevitable. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.